Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, in our last video, basically what we did was we changed the background of the uh, screen over here, okay, to uh, a nice uh, scenery, okay, and uh, we also added a new character, okay. Um, for me, I added this character called Abby. You are free to choose any character you like, okay, and uh, of course choose any other backdrop you like as well. Okay, so now uh, what do we see here? We have two characters on the main uh, screen over here, okay. And if I click back on my cat, okay, uh, over here, you can see that the code that I, I wrote for the cat is still there, okay. And uh, if I click on the other character, Abby, you can see that there is no code over there, okay. Uh, so this is the unique uh, thing that we have to understand about Scratch. Uh, every object, okay, uh, has its own coding blocks, okay. So when you are writing a code, okay, you need to make sure that you write the code specific to how you want each uh, sprite to behave. Okay, so for the cat, we have this uh, four blocks. For Abby, we currently do not have any blocks. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Firstly, we are going to remove the blocks. Okay, that are uh, associated with the uh, cat. Okay, so I'm going to just drag it and move it across the screen to delete them. Now. Uh, after we are done with that, okay, another thing that you will notice is each sprite actually has a name. Okay, if you click on the second character Abby, uh, the sprite already has a name Abby. But for the first character which is the cat, it is called Sprite 1. Okay, uh, so let's give it a nice name. Okay, so I'm just going to call it uh, my cat over here. Okay, so instead of Sprite 1, I'm going to call it my cat. So my uh, second character is Abby and my first character is my cat. Okay, now what is the uh, objective of uh, this lesson? We want to make the cat, okay, move until it touches Abby. Okay, we want to make the cat move until it touches Abby. Now, how can we do this? Okay, so, uh, of course, a very uh, simplistic way is to just uh, estimate how many uh, steps you must take, okay, to move the cat until it touches Abby. Okay, so for example, over here, mm -hmm. I can say that, Whenever the uh, green flag is clicked, I want to move okay, the cat maybe by 100 steps. Okay, So if I try this, you can see it comes somewhere here. Then of course I can trial some other numbers and, and try to make it work. Okay, But of course this is not a uh, right way of doing coding. Okay, What we want to do is we want to write okay, some logic such that the cat will be continuously moving and it will automatically stop the moment it touches Abby. Okay, so that is the thinking process we must have, okay, and once we know that this is the thinking process we have, we want to translate that into the appropriate code, okay, in Scratch. Okay, in order for me to fulfill this objective, we need to go back to one of the concepts we learned earlier, which is the loops. Okay, so if you click on control, what we did the other time is we used the forever loop. Okay, for a forever loop, uh, basically, what happens is uh, all the blocks inside here will keep on repeating again and again and again. Okay, there will not be an end to it. Okay, but in our case, uh, we have an end, correct? Because the moment the cat touches Abby, we want to stop. We do not want to keep moving. Okay, so we cannot use a forever block in our case. So instead of forever block, what we are going to use, we are going to use this block called repeat until. Okay, so for repeat until, how does it work? Basically, in the repeat until block, okay, whatever you put inside here will keep on repeating, okay, until mm -hmm. some condition is fulfilled. So, the repeat until this space here is for the condition, okay, whatever condition that you must fulfill. Until that point, I will keep on doing the activity that I put here. Okay, so now let's look at it step by step. Firstly, what is the activity that I want the cat to keep on doing, okay? I want the cat to keep on moving. Right, I want the cat to keep on moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that first. So under motion, I'm going, I'm going to say move 10 steps. Okay, and um, of course I do not want it to uh, go too far. So I'm going to just put a delay here of uh, 0.5 seconds. So this is the activity. So I'm just going to put the green flag here so that uh, basically when the green flag is clicked, uh, I will keep on repeating this movement. Okay, which is move 10 steps wait 0.5 seconds, move 10 steps, wait 0.5 seconds, okay. So I want uh, this activity to keep on going on, so that's why I say repeat until, until what? The condition is until I 
touch Abby. Okay, until I touch Abby. So, how do I detect that one object is touching another object? Okay, so that is under the sensing. So, on the left hand panel over here, you can click on sensing. And the first one, basically, it says touching. Okay, so let's click on the touching. Okay, and drag it and put it in the space here. Okay, under the arrow, if you click on the arrow over here, you can select, okay, Abby. Okay, so you can see that currently I'm working on the uh, cat sprite. So I can uh, select the other um, different objects that I can touch. The edge is basically referring to the edge of the screen. But in our case, what we want is we are talking about touching Abby. Correct, so I'm going to select Abby over here. So what does this whole code uh, do for us? Okay, it will repeat these two blocks. Okay, 10 steps, wait 0.5 seconds. Move 10 steps, wait 0.5 seconds. So I'll keep on repeating these two blocks until I touch a B. So the moment I touch a B, I will stop. Okay, the moment I touch a B, I will stop. And what I want to do is after I touch a B, I want to just move back. Okay, just move back a little bit. So I'm going to say move back maybe minus 20 steps okay so what is going to happen is this block here okay this repeat until block will keep on uh, repeating again and again until this condition is fulfilled the condition where the cat touches a bee the moment this condition is fulfilled i will come out of this repeat until block and go to the next block which is move minus 20 steps okay so let's Let's see this in action. Okay, so I'm going to click on the green flag over here. Okay, so you can see that it's keep on doing this repeat until blocks. And the moment it touches a B, what it will do is it will stop and it will move back 20 steps. Can you see? And the good part of this code is, as you can see, it doesn't matter uh, how far we actually are going to place cat and a B. So even if we change their distance, the code will still work exactly the same way okay so it keeps on moving until it touches Abby and then it moves back 20 steps okay so uh, that is the first part of this uh, uh, this code over here so I just wanted to try it out first okay have a feel for how this repeat until block works okay and then uh, we will see you in the next video where we were going to be touching on what Abby is going to do after the cat touches her all right see you soon thank you